I will praise you, Lord, among the nations. I will tell of your name to my king. Hallelujah. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all, and with your spirit. My dear brothers and sisters in Christ Jesus, today is the 20th day of the month of May. The month dedicated to our blessed Virgin Mary. And as we all know that we are experiencing the difficult situation across the world. Let us thank God for all the blessings that we have received from God. Let us also continue to pray for one another, the whole world, especially let us offer all the brothers and sisters affected with COVID-19 during this Mass. And let us also reflect about the moments where we fail to spend more time with the presence of the Lord in our Christian lives and ask for God's pardon, mercy and strength. Brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. I confess to Almighty God and you, my brothers and sisters, that I greatly sin in my thoughts and my words, in what I can and what I pray to do. Through my fall, through my fall, through my most grievous fall. Wherefore, as blessed Mary Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy. Let us pray. Grant we pray, O Lord, that as we celebrate in mystery the solemnities of your son's resurrection, so too we may be worthy to rejoice at his coming with all the saints. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the church of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. from the Acts of the Apostles. Those who conducted Paul brought him as far as Athens and after receiving instructions to have Silas and Timothy join him as it was possible, they left him. When Paul stood in front of the Hurry Paris and said, Athenians, I see how extremely religious you are in every way. For as I went through the city and looked carefully at the objects of your worship, I found among them an altar with the inscription, inscription 
to an unknown God. What therefore you worship as unknown, this I proclaim to you. The God who made the world and everything in it, He who is God is Lord of heaven and earth, does not live in shrines made by human hands, nor is he served by human hands, as though he needed anything, since he himself gives to all mortals life and breath and all things. From one ancestor he made all nations to in inhabit the whole earth, and he allotted the times of their existence and the boundaries of the places where they would live, so that they would search for God and for perhaps group for Parim and find him, though indeed he is not far from each one of us, but in him we live and move and have a being, as even some of your own wives have said, for we too are his offspring, since we are God's offspring, we ought not to think that the deity is like gold or silver or stone, an image formed by the art and imagination of mortals, while God has overlooked the times of human ignorance. Now he commands all people everywhere to repent because he has fixed a day on which he will have the world judged in righteousness by a man whom he has appointed and of this he has given assurance to all by raising him from the dead. When they heard of the resurrection of the dead, some scoffed, but others said, We will hear you again about this. At that point, Paul left them, but some of them joined him and became believers, including Dionysius the Orient and a woman named Damaris, Damaris and others with them and after this Paul left Athens and went to Corinth. The word of the Lord is the Lord. The response of your song, your response, Hallelujah, Hallelujah. Praise the Lord from the heavens, praise Him in the heights, praise Him all His angels, praise Him all His hosts. Hallelujah, Hallelujah. King of the earth and all peoples, princes and all rulers of the earth. Young men and women alike, old and young together. Hallelujah, Hallelujah. Let them praise the name of the Lord, for his name alone, alone is exalted. His glory is above earth and heaven. Hallelujah, Hallelujah. He has raised up a power for his people. Praise for all his faithful. For the people of Israel who are close to him. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Gospel acclamation. The Father will send you the Holy Spirit, says the Lord. 
to be with you forever. Hallelujah. The Lord be with you. Yes. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Yes. When Jesus knew that his hour had come to depart from this world and go to the Father, he said to the disciples, I still have many things to say to you, but you cannot bear them now. When the Spirit of truth comes, he will guide you into all the truth, for he will not speak on his soul, but will speak whatever he hears, and he will declare to you the things that are to come. He will glorify me because he will take what is mine and declare it to you. All that the Father has is mine. For this reason I said that he will take what is mine and declare it to you. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise Praise the Lord. Jesus Christ. In the words of the gospel, one of the sins. My dear brothers and sisters in Christ Jesus, morning. morning. Hope you are all doing well. And we are also doing well. We miss all of you. We miss we miss all our parishments. I am glad I see. Ten of our parishioners every day, but I was so sad. More than two, two months, we the priests were celebrating the masses. Uh, just by looking at these empty pews, but. As a pastor of this parish, I was praying for the whole world, especially the brothers and sisters affected with COVID-19. And I was also praying for all of the parish nurses, and still I am praying for all of you. My dear brothers and sisters in Christ Jesus, We are in the sixth week of the season of Easter. As we all know that we are all facing this global pandemic. People are afraid. Some people have, sorry, more people have lost their lives. Sometimes these difficult situations misguide us in our faith journey. But what is the consoling message given by Jesus from the gospel reading of today? He is, do not worry, do not be afraid, do not be so sad. The Spirit, the Holy Spirit, whom I will send, whom Jesus will send, will console you. The Holy Spirit will guide you. The Holy Spirit will help you to have the more faith in God. Jesus tells us in today's gospel, 
I am going to the Father. When the Spirit of Truth comes, He will guide you into all the truth. Sometimes the situation helps us to go away from God. The situations that we face sometimes they will help us to go astray from our Catholic faith. But as a priest, what is a spiritual medicine that I would like to suggest to all of you, dear parishioners, is to pray more, to pray unceasingly, and to pray and to pray. The more we pray, the more strength God will give us to face these difficult situations. Let us continue to pray for one another. Let us believe in the Holy Spirit, the third person in the Trinity. Let us uh, ask uh, for this uh, guidance and inspiration. Let us ask uh, the Holy Spirit to renew our faith, to inspire our own Catholic faith that we received in the sacrament of baptism when we were children. Let us ask for this grace and participate in this holy Eucharistic celebration. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the wine and work of human hands. It will become for us, it will become a spiritual dream. Blessed be God for you.
Pray, brothers and sisters, that by sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord the sacrifice of the hands for the praise of the Lord and the O God, who by the wonderful exchange effected in this sacrifice have made us partakers of the one supreme Godhead, grant we pray that as we have come to know your truth, we may make it ours by a worthy way of life. To Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just to rebuke and our salvation at all times to acclaim you, O Lord. But it is time above all to laud you yet more gloriously when Christ our Passover has been sacrificed. By the oblation of his body, he brought the sacrifices of all to fulfill you. in the reality of the cross. And by commending himself to you for our salvation, showed himself the priest, the altar, and the lamb of sacrifice. Therefore, O come with Pascal joy, every land, every people excels in your praise, and even the heavenly powers with the angelic hosts sing together the unending hymn of your glory as they acclaim and say. Holy, holy, holy Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth be of your glory, which has been blessed Bless the name of the name of the Lord, which has been You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts we pray, by sending down your spirit upon them like the dew fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when Sapo was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith, when we eat this bread and bring this cup, 
We proclaim your death, O Lord, and the name of the Lord. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life, the chalice of salvation, giving you thanks and your will is holy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that part of the body and blood of Christ we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. I remember, Lord, your church spread to the world and bring them to the fullest of charity together with Francis of Hope and Christian Ambition and all the clergy. Remember your servants, Margaret, Austin, and Eugene Yen, whom you have called from this world to yourself. Grant that who are related with your son in a death like his may also be one of them in this resurrection. The Lord, we also pray for the whole world, the brothers and sisters affected with COVID-19. Lord, bless the whole world that you have created and touch and heal the brothers and sisters affected with COVID-19. Lord, we also pray for all our parishioners of St. Michael the Archangel. Lord, bless all the families and bless all their intentions. Bless them and bless their family members. Lord, we also pray for all the brothers and sisters who are lost of our prayers. Remember also, brothers and sisters, who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who are dying in mercy, welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, and her spouse, Saint Joseph, with the blessed apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be coerced to the life and the praise and glory for you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him I am King, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and power is yours, forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command and formed by the own teaching, we have to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be the name, thy kingdom come, thy will be the honor as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and for you as our trespasses, as we forgive our trespasses, and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil, grace to grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and saved from all mistress, as we await the blessed hope and coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Amen. Lord Jesus Christ, who said your forces, peace I give you, my peace I give you. Look not our sins for the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and yours in accordance with your will. Who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you on this. Let us offer each other a sign of peace. Peace of Christ. Peace of Christ, peace of Christ. The Lamb of God, which we hear the sins of the world, and also she on us, 
Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. He is our Lord Jesus Christ, who is traveling with us, who has come and who has risen from the dead to console us, to guide us always. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter.
I have chosen you from the world, says the Lord, and I have appointed you to go out and bear fruit that will last. Hallelujah. Let us pray. Graciously be present to your people. We pray, O Lord, and lead those you have imbued with heavenly mysteries to pass from far away to the to newness of life, Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. Almighty God bless you all, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Mass is ended. Let's all go in the peace of Christ. Hallelujah. Thanks be to God. Hallelujah.